Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So today, what I have in store for you guys is a drugstore haul. So I have been collecting a bunch of makeup from Walmart, from Target, from Rite Aid, and also from like Counterpop because I consider them a drugstore brand because their drugstore price point. So yeah, I just saved up all the stuff and I didn't even touch them because I want to show you guys first. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and then jump right into the haul. Alright, so the first item I want to show you guys is a highlighter that I bought from Target. So if you haven't heard of the news, now Makeup Geek is sold at Target right now. And in my local Target, they're doing so well. Like I literally went there one day and I saw a lot of the stuff that in stock. But then maybe like a week later, it's all gone. So I was like, oh my gosh, they're selling really, really well in Target. So I'm really happy for Marlena because I've watched her video for a long time and I know that she's an amazing woman and she is always so kind and I really look up to her like I feel like she's almost like my big sister kind of a role like gave me advice and just having conversations through her channel so I really want to support her and that's why I bought this highlighter this is called Starlight I also have two other highlighter uh, um, yeah, two other one highlighter and one bronzer from Makeup Geek as well. But um, this is what I recently bought, so I just want to quickly show you guys. So this is the color for Starlight, and in the pan you can see it's kind of like a little bit darker shade. But if you swatch on your hand, as you can see, it turns pretty subtle. So it's really really wearable, don't get intimidated by the color right here because it's definitely different than the color that shows on your skin. I personally think this is a pretty universal shade because it's just like a pink purplish kind of a light shade so I think it will be really suitable for a lot of skin tones and I personally have wear this and I really really love it. I think this is a good highlighter and it's very finely milled. Also, the quality of the highlighter is really high. Like, it gives you a nice glow, but it's not too over the top. It's definitely not chunky. As you can see, the highlighter is really finely milled. It's definitely not very chunky. So, I really, really like it. And also, I love the packaging. I just think the packaging is really luxurious, like a high quality packaging. So, yeah, this is my first item. Moving on. The second item that I got, I believe is from Target. So this is the mask. This is the makeup cream. It's called a double mask, double effect. And uh, it's a dual carrying layering mask. So you have to, I think, have two layers. So the step one is right here. So step one, I believe, is soothing. So it will calm your skin and then just give your face a very soothing effect. And then the second layer is moisturizing. So it will be more hydrating to your skin. So that's why I think it's perfect for the summertime because you know everyone is kind of dehydrated under the sun or you go to the beach, everything. So I really feel like hydration is really important in the summer. So I want to try this one. I have used their makeup cleansing, like a face cleanser. I'm not really like a huge fan of that to be honest. I think it's a little bit on the sheer side. I like my cleanser to be a little bit thicker so it have a stronger cleaning power. So I'm not really like, like I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I just not like a huge fan of it. But I'm still willing to try this one because I know that Korean beauty, especially mask, is their specialty, their strong suit. So I really want to try it out and I will let you guys know how this one goes. I'm really excited. Alright, so the next item is also from Target. So this is actually a perfume. I am so happy when I saw the perfume in Target, it's just like, I feel like Target is on fire right now. Like I feel like they're trying to compete with Ulta maybe in some ways, but I love it. Like I love competition, I love like stores bringing more stuff to the consumers. So this is the Pacific Tahitian Garden Gardenia perfume. And let me tell you, this one smells amazing. In fact, I'm gonna spray something right now. Oh. It kind of smells like lily, like a um, flower, like a very 
fresh flower. Smells like lily, I feel like. And also smell like jasmine because I love jasmine green tea, so I love the scent of jasmine. So I really love it. And uh, I don't think I keep the box anymore because I already spray a little bit. But I really, really love it. It smells like jasmine and lily. So it's just a beautiful like garden scent. So if you want like a fresh scent, I highly recommend you go to Target and smell it out yourself because they all have samples there. Also Alta, I believe they carry this as well. So just go smell it and just you know make decisions for yourself. I think that's the best way to pick a perfume is you smell it and see how you like it. But I personally really like it. And this one I believe is like under $20. So it's very affordable. So I highly recommend you guys check this one out. Alright, moving on, we have some more masks. So those are actually, yeah. So this first one is also a Korean brand. It's called Peach Slices. And this is Shrink Pores, Velo Bark, and a Soybean Extra Sheet Mask. I believe I got this one from my local CVS. Because right now, CVS is also on fire right now. Like, they have so many Korean brands and so many masks. It's like a blessing. Like, I just feel like it's so much fun. Like, go shopping at your local drugstore. It's really, really fun. So, I love this one. This is the Aqua Glow Mask. It's a natural cotton sheet mask soaked in an innovative blend of luxe and time-tested ingredients that provide instant results. So this mask will help you tighten your pores for smoother, more defined texture. So I just really, really love it. I think this is amazing. And you just, you know, use this one for 20 minutes after you wash your face. So it's just very easy to use and just very affordable. You can get in your local CVS. So yeah, definitely go check this one out. I haven't tried this one yet, but I think I have a good vibe about it. Everything that's about like tightening the pores and then it's a cotton she mask. I just, I'm on board. So I am dying to try this one. And then in my local CVS, I also have, sorry, my labor is just in and out, and that's why I got a little bit distracted. So I also have those kind of masks, and those are the 7 days mask, and they're targeting for different uh, skin issues. For example, this pomegranate is for firming and radiating, so this is what it looks like. I really love it. Cause I just want to try. These are like a couple dollars a piece, so it's very affordable. Like even if you're on budget, I think you can afford these. And they also have the aloe one, which is calming and soothing. So this is what it looks like. It looks really good. And then we also have the tea tree mask, which is clearing and purifying. This probably is my fave because I just I'm an oily skin, so I always have like pores clogged up or blackheads. So anything for clarifying I am down so I am dying to try this one but I'm also very excited for like radiating or like calming because in the summer like sometimes my skin might get irritated by the sun so I think aloe is really really good especially if you go out to like under the sun doing some pool activities try this one so yeah I got those are CVS all right moving on I have two um, face oils so I know you probably were asking why do you buy face oils in the summer. Actually, I did some research. It shows that face oil is actually very helpful for A, oily type of people. B, when you are really oily, you actually need more oil because oils are all coming out of your skin. So you need more oil inside of your skin. So that's my research. But um, let me know if you have a different research. I would love to hear it out. So I got those two from Milani. These are the one is the rose one, which is this one. It's the Prep and Brightens face oil. So this one will just help moisturizing the face, and then it will brighten your face. So I really really love this one. And they also have the chamomile one, which is I think have seed oil and the vitamin A, B, D, E. This will also help quite sensitive skins. So this one is for soothing. So if you have more of a sensitive skin, definitely use this one. But this one is more for hydration. So it's definitely for a dehydrated and glowing. So if you are more like dehydrated using this one. I bought both because I just can't decide which one. I really really want to try both. 
I think Milani is such an amazing brand. Like I just love it so much. And uh, even their skincare like is really good. Even though they're more like you know a cheaper brand. So that's also a myth. Like don't think that more expensive must be really really good. Sometimes it's not really necessarily the case. So I'm really really excited to try this. Look how pretty it looks. And this have one fluid ounce. So it's pretty standard for like a face oil. You just add this into your liquid foundation. That's what it says on the box. Yeah, you can either apply one or two drops and a massage onto freshly cleansed skin, use circular movements, or you can add one or two to your liquid foundation or moisturizer. So it's definitely more like an add-on kind of a skincare product. So I really, really love it. I'm definitely gonna use this on my skincare routine. And uh, the next one is this chamomile. So let me open it up real quick. This is the chamomile looks like. Oh, I really love this bottle. I think it's so cute. And this one, you can also either just, you know, massage onto your skin as your skincare, or you can add to your foundation for that moisturizing as well as the antioxidants as well as calming. So I am dying to really like use these two babies because I just think that in the summer, it's really important to stay hydrated and also calm your skin. So yeah, that's what I got. And then, moving on, I also got this Rose Flower of Love Rose Powder Blush. So this is a powder brush trail. I got it from Malani's website actually. So this one, I just really want because how, first off, how pretty are these? Like, look how pretty are these? These are just beautiful. And also I love the three shades. I think they're really, really wearable. Look at the shades. I think it's so beautiful. I have the bigger pan, like a rose um, blushes. I really love them. I think they're beautiful. So I'm dying to try this. I just think these are super beautiful. Like I just really, really want to try it. Also, I think those are really good for different occasions. Let me swatch it. It's really pigmented. Did you see that? Well, it doesn't really show on my hand, but it definitely have a lot of pigment on my finger. Look at this. So I just say that don't like you can see a very light sheen to it right here. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Sometimes it's not really the best. For your hand swatches especially with blush product or bronzer product because maybe it doesn't show up on your hand but it might show up really really a lot on your face i learned that lesson with like especially bronzer sometimes i just felt like lighter bronzers are not showing up on my hand so i just buy a darker color and it then looks like mud on my face so it's really crazy so i just say that when you're using these kind of products don't judge these products only based on hand swatches you I think it's really important to just using you know your brush to try it on your face I know that it's almost impossible to do this with drugstore items so that's why I'm willing to come in here and test it out for you guys and give you my honest feedback so that you know you can either buy it if it's really good or you can just um, save your money buy something better so that's what I'm here for I will do a first impression using this one but I just I trust Milani's product. I have their blushes. They're working really well for me, so I'm not really too concerned about this. And I just love this blush trail. I just can't say no, so I bought it. And yeah, I'll test it out for you guys. Next, we got some samples. So I actually bought two Milani. This is the, um, what's that called? It's the beaming lights and luster lights. So I think these are called the hypotic lights. So these are the holographic eye toppers. Holographic eye toppers are so popular this year. So I bought two from Milani. I also bought some from BH Cosmetics. And also I bought this eye shimmer from KKW Beauty. Also if you're interested in my KKW Beauty haul, I'll link it down below. So all of these are really, really good. I'm just really obsessed with the colors and I got the two. One is kind of a lavender shade. The other is more like a light nude base shade, I guess. 
I just really really want to try this so I will definitely do a tutorial using this and the Milani blushes so that I keep you know keep you guys updated on how I feel about this so yeah stay tuned on that video so that's what I got and then the rest I got this make it last mini setting spray and also prime shield mini um, primer so I already have those two actually if you can see this I almost finished that means how much I love it this is really good it's a prime and a correct set and it's 16 hour wear I really love this bottle I think it's a good quality product and it does make my makeup last in fact let me put some here If one thing, I'm not really like a huge fan of the splitter. I feel like nothing beats the Morphe one. So, but I still love this one. I feel like Morphe is, um, not everyone can have Morphe first off, because they're not in everywhere. And second off, um, if you want like a prime correct and set, so this is more like multitasking. I think the Morphe one can be prime as well. So it's really your call. I personally bought it because I love this bottle. I'm just. I love collecting makeup, what can I say? I just love the bottle, so that's why I bought it. But speaking of Morphe, I also got another Morphe Continuous Setting Spray because my other one is almost out. And I went to my Morphe store, I have a Morphe store relatively close to me. So I got this one, and yeah, it's just really good. It's a microfine mist, sets liquid or powder makeup with radiant finish. And it's a continuous air power spray delivers even and a controlled application. So you just hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from face, close eyes, and apply the mist all over your face. So I really love this one. Let me show you guys. I just show you the Milani one. So did you see that? It's really really smooth. I'm not having a Morphe coat, so I'm really in no way shape or form I'm promoting for them but I just genuinely love this product so yeah then I got the Morphe sponge this is a highlight and a contour beauty sponge so it has like that sharp um, line here so you can do like a baking I saw Jaclyn Hill using this sponge as a baking so I really love that idea I also want to use as a breaking um, baking <laughs> and this one is latex free so it's really really good for your skin and uh, you just use this in warm water with gentle soap and then rinse and let it air dry. So this one, you basically can use for anything. You use the pointy side for makeup and foundation, and then you use the um, edgier side for like baking. So I really love this one. And then from Morphe, I also got a concealer. I feel like Morphe concealer is so underrated I don't see a lot of people talking about it but I think they're actually quite good so this one is in the shade nude I really love this shade look how creamy that is and I love the spatula reminds me of the Urban Decay spatula but this one is literally like five or six dollars so it's really really affordable and I love this shade I think the shade is really really nice so yeah this one is called nude and then this is 12 gram or 0.42 ounces so it's really really good so i love this one all right so this is part one of my haul i don't want this video to be too long so yeah subscribe to my channel stay tuned for my part two i will see you guys in my next video